Hey, this is Amina Dasani with Austin Underground, and today I'm here with Wild Child. Uh, am I pronouncing that right? Wild Child, or is it a wild uh -huh. child? Wild Child. Wild Child. <laughs> wild Child. I hope these walls are paper thin. My untied tie, mouth full of gin. You guys are a really huge band, like six people, right? And you just got a new bass. Seven, yeah. sorry, seven with a the, with the new bassist. Um, how did you guys all get together? What's the story of how that all happened? Well, we uh, we were on tour, Kelsey and I and our drummer, Carrie, uh, with a band from Denmark called The Migrant. Um, we started writing songs along the way, and uh, my cousin lives up in San Francisco. We stopped up there and did a little writing with him, then got back down here, and Kelsey and I just kind of went after it and started building the band. Gathered all our friends together, yeah. everyone we see every day anyways, and started playing together. And then Denunzi, our bass player, is in like nine or ten other bands. So we <laughs> figured, what's 11? Eastern Sea. <laughs> um, Alexandra and I had such fun writing these songs. We'd drink super shitty red wine, and we'd write these ukulele love songs. And everyone we played them for, we recorded the. We had a video recording of the first one. That's what she said. <laughs> and everyone who heard it, <laughs> that wasn't a joke. That was the song <laughs> title. But everyone who heard it really liked it. And we just had like really good response and we kept writing them. And after a while we had so much material that it was time. It was time. Yeah. yeah. It was that time. Okay, so I just want to like get straight to the really cool news. You guys are playing ACL for the first time yeah. ever, which is really, really cool. I got really excited when I saw that. I was like, oh, wow, wow. We did too. Yeah, <laughs> I bet, yeah, I bet, I bet. Um, how have you found this whole journey kind of getting to that point, that stage? Yeah, it's been awesome. It's, it's been quick too. Um, it's been like a year. Year and a half or so, not even. Not even. A year and some change and uh, I feel like we've made a lot of smart business moves along the way and been playing the right shows and not overplaying too much and made a lot of good decisions when we were recording the album and, uh, you know, it's kind of been going since then and during South By we signed with the, the William Morris Endeavor, WME, and they've kind of been our Trojan horse and getting us out. And, mm -hmm. so, and getting South By official yeah, was good. Yeah, that was really helpful and I don't know, it's been, it's been good, I don't want to jinx anything. So. <laughs> And like, have y'all mostly been staying in Austin? Are y'all like also touring a lot? Like, was it majority local? Or? Pretty much here. We're leaving in, we did a small Southeast tour, a couple dates, went to some country towns, Tallahassee, Jacksonville, mm. a, lot of, a lot of places. <laughs> Played at some roadside grills off of highways <laughs> through karaoke machines. Yeah. That's cool. But we're leaving on our first kind of tour in July. We're going to go up to Milwaukee to play Summerfest with the Wheeler Brothers and the Avit Brothers. That's cool. I mean, the, the Wheeler Brothers. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, and so we're kind of trying to tour our way up and back down. Okay. Definitely planning on touring yeah. more. Yeah. Yeah. Need to get the word out before you see it. Hey guys! Gotta get the word out. Check us out. Someone's gotta do it. Someone's, yeah. Someone's gotta do it. It's time. It's time. <laughs> it's time to shine. <laughs> sure. I hear your voice in steps, don't care if you get hurt. I'm feeling sick and tired, hearing all your words, telling me what I should feel and how to hurt.
let's talk a little more about your music now. Um, like your songs are, are pretty, like content-wise, are really serious, and they cover a lot of kind of sad things, uh, a lot of you know relationships and all kinds of really heavy, heavy material. But then your music is really, really kind of upbeat. You know, there's a ukulele that's going, ding, 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 you know, it's kind of really upbeat and happy. Um, it's kind of a cool juxtaposition. It's a very fancy word. Um, mm -hmm. Can y'all talk about um, how y'all kind of got to, how y'all built that sound, and how that came about, and can y'all, I guess, describe your sound a little bit better? Yeah, like our, I mean, our lyrics anyway. Very honest. Very honest. We're trying to get, I don't know, to some kind of point. I don't know what the point is. It's just kind of how we felt when we were going through it at the time we were both going through. It's like, through. let's get drunk and then write shitty love songs that are super, they they sound happy because it's a ukulele. Right. Because they're super. It's hard to make it sound anything but. Yeah. But we were both kind of like, I hate love. I hate everyone and Why everything. Um. At the time, we were going through some relationships with our like first big exes, um, and we were out on that tour with the migrant, and I guess I was just on top of the dome at the time. And what we were thinking about? Felt like we had to get it out, and I guess we're still getting it out. <laughs> we have issues. <laughs> <laughs> I think no, yeah, deep down we're just super, super sad, <laughs> awesome, hilarious people. Yeah, kind of works out. Um, and so, like, <laughs> how does <laughs> that sound? Good, <laughs> it, does it sounds really good, even though it, I mean, it sounds great. You're just like, doo -doo. Hey, uh, it's kind of like fooled you. Like your grandma will yeah. like it. And be like, that's mm. nice. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> We're sure singing about we drugs. We played like we played in Oklahoma like a month ago, and we played for someone's wedding. They like had like a preacher on stage. And they had like their song is one of our songs, and it's like not the happiest song in the world, but I guess it like <laughs> they like it. They liked it and became their song, so we played it while they were getting married. What song was that? Darling Divine. And kind what's that? Sweeter one. It's probably like our sweetest song, but it's yeah, that's our closest thing to an actual love song. Why is it not completely a love song? What's one of the lines? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we will ever be able to write a real love song. That's why. Even if the lyrics sound like a love song, I don't think we even think of it as a love song. Right. I mean, there's like, you know, a part in the song when it's like, I'm just waiting for you to find someone else, even though I feel this way about you right now. Yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah. super attached. I really love this, but I'm also totally ready for you to do something Skeptical else. that something wrong is going to happen. You know, there's yeah. always that underlying tone of... It's weird to sing that while people were giving their vows to each other <laughs> <laughs> in their first dance. It's just like... You love you, I love you, but yeah. you're about to cheat on me. And exactly. Like, you're know it. Said, you're going to be unhappy and our children aren't going to get along. And <laughs> <laughs> we're just a bunch of pessimists. They write happy music, mm -hmm. I guess. I mean, I guess love songs just aren't our Netflix thing. That's okay. Yeah, it sounds it's not good. our thing. It sounds good. We'll save that for someone else. Coldplay. Yeah, <laughs> give that to Coldplay. Yeah, you can have it. Your name is Wild Child. What is the wildest thing you guys have done on stage, or in just in general? But bonus points. Don't say in stage. general. Don't say in general. <laughs> okay, no, not in general. You don't want to know any of those. <laughs> no, comment. no comment. No comment. No comment. No comment. Well, I Safely mean, say that. We're gonna use our, uh, wildest our wild thing? card. Our wild card. <laughs> it's one time. <laughs> we all dropped acid, and we're like one, two, three. This might Go. sound weird. We let's all just dropped the, acid. Let's play the wedding. And then we forgot our instruments. So. And we were not at a wedding. It's peyote. <laughs> and we weren't even at a show. And we had never played music before in our lives. That's why we started a band. Right then and there. And that's where the name came from. Wild Child. Wild Child. That, wasn't that wild when we thought we were in a band playing at a wedding? Kelsey actually got pregnant 
I aborted it myself. You decided to call him wild. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, and no, because so, I aborted it, dude. Right. Well, I call him the wild child. Yeah, in spirit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What is what is next for Wild Child? Not not the poor baby, but mm -hmm. but the Wild band. <laughs> the band. What is next for the band? Besides ACL, tour. Like music -wise, yeah. tour. Tour heavy. We're gonna tour anywhere and everywhere. We got a ton of new material that we're gonna try and record. Yeah. Well, hopefully we wanna tour year. a lot with Pillow Talk around the US, mm -hmm. Europe, anywhere, and then start recording the next album because we have the material and we are super excited. Child. This is Austin Underground. <laughs> <laughs> You're way under the camera. You can't be seen.